Okay, here's the uh, AC capacitor video I'm going to do. Um, I want you to uh, um, also note that I got uh, some of this information from uh, a, a fellow YouTuber. His channel is Justin Case did a, a video on how to wire these things up, so you can check that video out. But uh, basically, what I've got two different types of capacitors here. These are AC capacitors. These were repurposed and, and pulled out of uh, HVAC equipment. This one is a 10 microfarad or 10 UF, plus or minus 10%. They usually are plus or minus 5 or 10%, and uh, 50 or 60 hertz. And uh, this one's a 370 volts AC. Okay. This one, this is a this is a uh, start capacitor. Or excuse me, that's a that's a uh, run capacitor. This is a uh, run capacitor as well, but it's a, this is a dual capacitor. You have a common, and then you have a fan and a herm. This is these are set up for uh, central air conditioning units where it has a fan and a compressor in it. So your common would connect here. The five micro this is a 35 five or a 35 microfarad and a five microfarad. So common to fan would be the 5 microfarad, that's just running a little fan. Common to herm would be the 35 microfarad, and that, uh, um, so I have common, and then run in series is 5 to the 35. So basically I have this hooked up as a 40 microfarad capacitor. Now, um, these have soft plugs in them, or, or uh, soft, let's see. I don't know if you can see it right there, but they're designed if they overheat or whatever, they they'll blow. So you don't want them just kind of laying out. Um, see, there's a, there's I don't know if you can see it. The soft plugs in that one right there in the top. So if there's any damage, they don't uh, they don't blow up here. They can expand, but uh, they'll typically you know release any uh, fluid off the top. So here is uh, here's what they these are set up. To, some people have uh, set these up for uh, energy savers, okay? And they, they, they do save energy. They do help a little bit. Here's what I found, okay? I took both of these in and ran them on pure sine wave electricity, my line voltage. I, I think I plugged in a fan. And then I, and I was testing the amp draw. I plugged this into the same circuit. See what I did down here? My extension cord. I split the wire so I could put an amp, amp probe on there. I had my my fan plugged in there, and then <clears throat> I, you know, I was pulling whatever amperage I was drawing. It was a uh, you know something pretty small, 1.3, 1.6, whatever. Oh, turn around so it'll stay there. So then I'm running it, I'm monitoring it, and then I plug this in. The amperage actually drops, and that worked great. No problems. Uh, I could I could visually and literally see a drop in the amount of electricity it was using. Now I didn't run it through the kilowatt meter for an extended period of time to see if there was actually any, you know, less watts and all that. I only witnessed a lower uh, amp draw, and it was fractional. It was like point uh, point two amps. Okay, <clears throat> that's that's that one. This this is that's the forty or the thirty five five. The ten did the same thing. It actually dropped the amp draw. But when I incorporated these <coughs> into this inverter and I plugged it right into here and what I what I witnessed was my amp draw going haywire. It would go from 90 down to 25 and just float back and forth and all over the place. So what I did was uh, I got lights on this lights kind of there turn it down I'm just running the fridge back again there we go okay so what 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 I noticed was this was you know waving up and down it was high watts low watts high watts low watts after a period of time I was testing the temperature of everything Periodically, I'll monitor the temperature of my um, of my equipment, especially when I'm doing something new. Test it in different spots and see 
see if we're heating up or whatever. Anyway, I was at 110 degrees. This thing was, this, my inverter was smoking hot. And just, just by touch. Oh, look, see that? I just lit up. Anyway, what I noticed was it was giving me a huge fluctuation in my watts. It was overheating my inverter. Um, I don't know if it was an issue because I was using one of these capacitors with a modified sine wave but it, it, it had a different reaction here in this system than it did when I had it hooked up using line voltage. Um, so if, if anybody has any thoughts or, or comments about that, let me know. Uh, but I'll tell you the main reason that I started with this AC capacitor thing is because I was having a hard time firing up my drill press. The drill press would try to fire up, and it would just uh, it would just kick the inverter out. It was drawing too many amps. So uh, Justin Case, you should go check out his channel, um, suggested I put a capacitor on on my drill press, and that's why I said, well, you know, I, I understand capacitors, I just don't know, you know, how to wire it up. And that's where you know you can check out one of his videos. But basically, you just wire you got if you got a two capacitor or two lead capacitor. Uh, 10 microfarad, 15, 20, whatever it is, you uh, black wire, white wire, straight to it, and then you know, plug it straight into your wall. That's that's it. And I will tell you that it did help um, fire up the um, the drill press. I took both of those, one at different times, tried them both, and um, they both helped the uh, drill press fire up and run but it had an adverse effect on my inverter so I did not want to tax my inverter and overheat that with its uh, voltage and wattage or the wattage fluctuation so so that's what that's what I found when I did the AC capacitor thing on modified sine wave or at least this Chicago electric inverter so if anybody has any thoughts or comments or you know has tried that or maybe wants to experiment themselves and get back with me and see if they can come up with anything that would be great I'd appreciate it because I believe these things do help uh, anything with a motor okay it's not going to help run light bulbs charge computers run radios it's not going to help with anything like that and maybe that's where my problem was um, is that you know I wasn't uh, um, at that time maybe my refrigerator shut off and I came out and it was hot and I, I, I could do some more tests <coughs> Um, and, and isolate it and just make sure I'm just running just one motor um, for an extended period of time to see if I get any different results. But All right, so that's the, uh, the AC capacitor side of things. All right, thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe, rate my channel, and uh, I'll leave comments and all that stuff. I'll uh, do my best to get back with you if there's any questions. And... Uh, and wish me luck in, in uh, getting this mess cleaned up. Uh, I've got to get my panels wired in permanently rather than using these extension cords. This has been going on two weeks now. I need to uh, get with it and get this system cleaned up a little bit. All right, guys, take it easy, and we'll see you on the next go-round.